Hey everyone, I'm Scott Stokely, and this video is going to be all about how the Cardinal from Stokely Discs flies. I'm going to be sharing with you four things that this disc is best at, three things that this disc is pretty good at, but also three things this disc is not good for at all. But first, you can order your Stokely Discs at stokelydiscs.com, and you can also place your wholesale order for your store. If you are going to buy online, contact your pro shop first and see if they carry the disc. If they do, buy from them first. But if they don't carry it, you can get them at my shop. Number one, because this is an overstable mid-range disc, it's great for medium distance dive bomb shots. This is the most predictable okay. shot in the game. You know, the one where you take your drive and you set it out to the right or the left of the hole, but you're counting on the disc at the end of its flight to fade quickly and then basically head straight down towards the target. Well, this does this on shorter throws than you would want to throw your driver for. So basically it fills that gap between that overstable mid-range driver that we all throw and rely on and the putter. Number two, this disc will hold its angle into a headwind. This has always been the trouble with mid-range discs that when there's a strong enough headwind, we end up switching to our drivers even though the shot is short and should be a mid-range throw, but it's because we can count on the predictability of the driver in fighting the wind. Now, no mid-range in the world will fight the wind as well as a driver, but as far as mid-ranges go, this thing definitely holds up into medium to moderately severe, not super severe, but moderately severe wind. Number three, it is going to be forgiving for sidearm throws. Now remember, in theory, the disc doesn't care if it's being thrown backhand or sidearm. You're just reversing the spin of the disc, creating a mirror image opposite flight. However, many players don't generate as much spin, as much torque, on their sidearms as their backhand. So you actually get a different release than with the backhand. And many sidearmers find that mid-range discs are harder to throw because of lack of spin. Well, this disc will actually compensate for that a little bit. If you don't have the best sidearm in the world, it's still going to hold its angle and it's still gonna fade That's at the end. Good. Number four, this disc will give you an S turn on shorter to medium flights. Now I say shorter to medium because if you're one of those players that can throw a mid-range 400 feet, at that distance, this disc is going to fly dead straight like a laser before fading at the end. But in that 200 to 300, 330 foot range, the disc will start its fade almost immediately out of the hand, meaning when you throw it with an Anheuser, it's going to turn right because of the angle, but it's already going to be starting to fade the minute it flies down the fairway. So at the end of the fairway, it has completely changed direction for the S-turn. Number one, S-turns on short throws. I'm talking about those wooded shots where you're anywhere from 50 to 150 feet out and you gotta get an S-turn. Yes, this disc is very overstable at slower speeds, which means it does give you the S-turn, so it's pretty good at that. But if you have a slower overstable disc on those short shots, you typically want to go with the slower disc. So it's good for that shot. It's not the best disc for it. Number two, low ceiling skip shots. Now the reason I say this is only pretty good for that is that in my experience, drivers are typically better for almost all skip shots. Like you just don't get the action on a mid-range disc. So it's okay for that shot. And if you're worried about your skip shot going too far and just flaring way off out of bounds or back into the woods, yeah, it's a pretty good choice for that, for sure. But for most of your skip shots with a low ceiling, you're still gonna wanna go with the driver. Number three, this disc is fast for a mid-range, which means it's going to be good for low ceiling throws, with one exception. Because it has such a strong fade at the end, you are not going to get the distance with a low ceiling with this disc that you would get with a disc without such a high fade. So it's good for low ceiling shots, but only specific low ceiling shots where you're still counting on the fade at the end. Number one, if you are a newer player and you want a mid-range disc and you're only going to get one, this is not the disc for you. 
uh, this is a great disc, but it has a very specific purpose. If you're a newer player with a smaller disc selection, you need a mid-range disc that is more all-purpose, which means you need a mid-range disc that flies straight without a high fade. I'm going to be making that disc, and I'll tell you all about it when I make it. But as of today, as much as I would like to be in your bag, in your mid-range slot, if you're a brand new player, not the disc for you. Number two, this disc doesn't have a lot of glide. That means this will never be your distance mid-range driver. Now again, it's fast for a mid-range disc, and the reason I say fast, I mean it'll cut the wind, it penetrates, it's not luggish as it flies through the air. But at the end of its flight, because it fades to the side and doesn't continue its flight penetrating forward, you will never get maximum distance out of a mid-range with this disc. This is for a specific type of shot, and a long-range mid-range throw is not the shot it's for. Number three, this is not your approach disc when you're inside of 100 feet. All right, when this disc flies slowly, it has a really cool S-turn flight, which is usable for certain shots. But because of ground play, or rather wanting to have a lack of ground play, you typically want your approach shots to fly flat when they hit the ground and then nuzzle up to the target. Because of the high fade on this disc, if you throw a short approach shot, it's going to hit the ground at an angle, unless you perfectly execute some funky S turn, which is like, don't do that on an open shot. Uh, but it's gonna hit the ground at a funky angle, which means you're gonna get an unpredictable result when it hits the ground. You need to trust your mid-range discs for your short approach shots. This is not for short yeah. open approach shots. So after hearing all this information, if you think this disc fills a slot in your bag, go to stokelydiscs.com to order your disc. And if you're a retail store, place your wholesale order there as well. Thanks everyone.